Hello friends, welcome to Raju Note channel. Uh, today we will see about the Aero India Show 2021 and also some of the uh, defense uh, updates happening across the country. The Aero India 2021 event was the country's premier air, airspace and defense exhibition which kick-started at the Air Force Station Yal Lanka, Bangalore on Wednesday and in, in shadow of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the 13th edition of the international event was toted as the world's first ever hybrid aero and defense show and uh, it was uh, seen that several aircrafts of the Indian Air Force, uh, Army, Navy and Hindustan Aeronautical uh, Limited and Coast Guard uh, participated in this show. The three-day event focused on India's indigenous defense sector capabilities amid a buzz around the Atmanirbhar Bharat and Make in India campaign. The inauguration ceremony was uh, uh, opened by, uh, done by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and uh, there were a total of 106 exhibitors who were there in this uh, Aero India show out of which 523 from India and 78 from 14 foreign countries. Well, this, uh, this Aero show was uh, termed as a hybrid show because it was for the first time ever such a show is happening anywhere in the world, number one. Number two is uh, this show was live to the open uh, live spectators as also was streamed live across the globe and um, the uh, I must say it was a success story as far as India is concerned because uh, India could uh, first of all carry out such a thing and get a positive reply or response from the other countries as well. At the same time uh, this was a place where a lot of uh, important things happened wherein the uh, contract for 83 light combat aircrafts was signed and, and now slowly there are rumours that uh, India might be thinking on the lines of exporting this light combat aircraft very soon. The Aero India show also uh, demonstrated the uh, HAL helicopters uh, what we have as Rudra Sarang and also the new trainers which are being inducted into the Air Force. So overall a, a great show and uh, a great step I must say towards the India's Atmanirbhar policy what it is trying to uh, go ahead with. Okay with that uh, let's get on to the defense updates and uh, coming on to the defense updates. Uh, the F-15EX of the U.S. Air Force has completed its first flight in Washington, D.C. And uh, I think with this uh, successful flight, uh, now uh, these fighter jets will be inducted into the Air Force uh, probably in this quarter. And so uh, this is the latest as far as the U.S. Uh, uh, aircrafts are concerned. Uh, the U.S. Department of Defense, uh, they have discussed unmanned aircraft uh, systems and also the human decision making and the artificial intelligence, how you can be used. The picture here, you can show uh, what you see here is a soldier holding on to a futuristic, almost a future, now present, but almost a futuristic weapon like thing, which this is to uh, shoot down the drones uh, using the new technology and other uh, innovations being held. The Hindustan Aeronauticals Limited has shown a concept of helicopter drone called as RUAV. This you can keep it in your mind. RUAVs. And we, these are designed to carry uh, loads in high altitude regions, uh, especially in our northern India sector. And these, uh, the concept also shows at the Aero India 2021 that it can be fitted with a surveillance payload too if desired and it can carry out 150 kgs of payload. The, these drones are slated to enter and uh, enter detailed design stage, uh, stage soon and is based on the Indian Army requirements for the high altitude. So see how it can change the uh, uh, or change and enhance the fighting skill capabilities of the armed forces who are fighting on the high altitude areas. Uh, the HAL also uh, will fly a Jaguar Darren 3 fighter with production version of uh, ELTA sourced active electronic scanning radar by March 2021. The radar will be completely built by the unit, uh, built up unit that is CBU but integrated by HAL. 
and uh, these are the radars uh, which we were uh, till now importing from countries like uh, US and uh, Israel but now we are trying to manufacture the same uh, in our country uh, the controps ic 25 hd stabilized uh, infrared maritime payload system for uh, indian navy is being developed the uh, the ic 25 hd is a member of the ic family of compact observation system that was uh, specially designed for the harsh naval environment and uh, this these systems will be installed on the new indian navy warships which are under construction at lnt shipyard and will be delivered uh, by this year and next year the pakistan says that it has successfully test fired a short range missile and uh, uh, it this it is basically india centric but we all know what pakistan keeps trying to prove and uh, as such the way it is going in uh, the economical crisis what is happening the amount of loans which he can't repay but still wants to spend money on this this is all a sure shot uh, uh, mantra for a doomed state but anyway if it says that it has taken uh, it has successfully test fired a short range missile nothing great in that nothing new in that but let's go ahead that it it is acquired something a new Uh, this is uh, a new uh, uh, um, artificial intelligence can now detect emotions with radio waves well uh, this this is a topic which probably uh, now scientists have come up with a new uh, science and technology kind of a thing wherein uh, you can uh, with a, a kind of a mobile in your hand you can use the radio waves to pick up the changes in the heart rhythm and then use the advanced ai and uh, call the neural network to understand those what those signal means in other words just imagine that you are uh, uh, the soldiers are operating in the harsh climate of uh, jammu and kashmir and also in where in probably the uh, local population might not be of uh, great help to the armed forces that is the time just imagine a soldier picking out his mobile and uh just taking a photograph or maybe a video of that soldier and the uh, uh, the rf system reads his heartbeat probably his uh, pulse rate his palpitations and other thing and then using the ai it keeps telling the soldier in a in a muff, uh, in his earphone about whether this person is likely to be a uh threat or is a non threat so what what a wonderful system it is let's see when it is developed but such kind of a technology is coming up okay uh, the officials have ordered uh, 300 fast uh, petrol vessels from uh, india's uh, garden reach ship builders and engineers limited and uh, this uh, contract has been signed and um, government of seychelles will take this uh, fast 300t fast boat petrol vessels well uh, that uh, that this are these are small steps which india is taking towards the atmanirbhar as far as the defense sector is concerned the israel rafale advanced defense systems and india's uh, bharat dynamics limited which is in hyderabad have signed uh, will be signing a mou for joint induct- induction of anti torpedo defense system called as shade and uh, uh, this shade uh, will be for the indian navy and uh, the probably this uh, uh, thing was uh, signed as as i make this video because i uh, this i took a shot about uh, some days back uh, this this shade why is it so different is because it it is uh, a combination of both soft and a hard kill and <clears throat> uh, the uh, sh- this kind of a technology has never been used uh, earlier and uh, probably this is uh, the world's only system, uh, system which employs a combination of soft and hard kill decoys uh, providing a robust and effective defense against the modern torpedoes the uh, it is uh, the part of uh, atmanirbhar I, i don't know if i can zoom this photo no i am not able to zoom this photo but uh, if you see uh, if there if there is a torpedo which has been fired from a ship in this picture uh there is also the shade which has been dropped into the uh, o- ocean oblique sea from a distance now 
it initially it starts it first tries to uh, kill the system uh, soft it, it first try to uh, soft kill the system but if it doesn't then as such uh, the uh, hard kill is there for the torpedo and uh, india is also looking for the uh, verba man portable air defense system comprising of launching mechanism missile and the uh, uh, friend or foe and other mechanisms the uh, india has shown interest in this russia's uh, verba man portable air defense system it may be as uh, now since the uh, igla igla missile systems are being uh, are aging so probably this is being looked at looked at as a replacement for uh, such a air defense system <coughs> okay uh, tejas and brahmos astra are among 156 um, items defense items that have been cleared for export now if uh, if these 156 defense ex- uh, equipment uh, for export include the uh, lca tejas rt guns battle tanks missiles anti tank mines and explosives and um, there are about 19 aeronautical systems 41 armament and other combat systems so basically all these updates will help you in case if you have an examination question coming on atmanirbhar and with special reference to the defense and uh, defense production and its uh, procurement the uh, india has claimed to have designed and developed a solar power infinity drone you remember this word infinity drone and uh, it is said that its capability is that it can fly about 65000 feet for 90 days while monitoring attacks this uh, is will be basically an ultra high altitude drone and uh, and it is uh, with this if this drone is if is it's in production and if it's if the armed forces indian armed forces get it so just imagine the uh, kind of uh, real data or real time data which this can give to the soldiers for especially if you are flying to strikes like uh, that in balakot or the um, other other sectors wherein some particular area should have been in surveillance for more than such about 2 to 3 months so ideal for such things and uh, since it's at a high altitude and it's a drone with no life uh, no life is lost and more so where with such a loitering capability it will certainly be a force enhancer uh, the hal and uh, uh, safran have a mem- memorandum of understanding to develop the high thrust uh, kaveri turbofan engines this turbofan engines are basically for the engines of the aircraft and uh, the the aero uh, engine research and De- uh, design center aerdc of the hl is developing this uh, htfe 25 engine and uh, this is a 25 kn turbofan engine and it can uh, help create thrust for the aircrafts which are of medium class so we need not uh, be dependent upon the ge and uh, other such kind of a companies for our future aircrafts uh, uh, a new development in the defense russia has developed their first atgm anti tank guided missile which is capable of shooting down uavs just yes you heard it right it is the an atgm which is capable of shooting down a uav so it it is it's a great thing instead of just getting stuck to the surface to surface it can also act as a surface to air and um, the uh, the kvp instrument design bureau which is part of high precision weapon de- holding company of uh, rostec has uh, developed this uh, first multi purpose anti tank guided missile system which can effectively shoot down drones and uh, so let's let's see let's see what else can it be done uh the marine core of us is looking at building three new pacific regiments uh, to counter china this is just an defense update to know that um, the us has already started uh, seeing china as its next big threat and uh, uh, if you recollect the uss uh, nimitz is also now uh, 
uh, coming back into the South China Sea region and with this uh, uh, announcement of three marine uh, regiments being raised, so certainly the stakes are high. The British Army is using Australian 40mm drone, drone 40 in Mali operations for uh, Operation Newcomb and if you see the drone it is uh, handheld uh, hardly uh, any size and it can easily give you a continuous um, uh, surveillance over a specific radar area sorry specific uh, land area my mistake uh, india has uh, as we all know that there were some initial setbacks with india on the chabahar port but uh, now it, India is back on Chabahar, but this time it is constructing a rail line between Chabahar and uh, Zahidan uh, rail project. And uh, it is a phase one of this uh, Shahid uh, Bahasiti port in Chabahar. And India has reaffirmed that its commitments to the railway project, saying that it is engaged in the project that will connect the port of port city of Chabahar uh, to the border city. Uh, Zahedan is uh, is basically the capital of Iran's uh, Sistan and uh, Baluchistan uh, Baluchistan province, and it's a border town. So it can basically become a great gateway uh, gateway of Afghanistan with the rail connectivity. So if this uh, rail connectivity is through, the purpose of Indian uh, purpose of having a port much much ahead of Pakistan and from port itself you connect it to the this through this rail line to Afghanistan and Afghanistan to India it is very much on the card the Mysore based defense food research laboratory has uh, readied a food that can be consumed by astronauts on the India's first ever manned space mission Gaganyaan and it has sent this to ISRO and Gaganyaan is basically designed to carry three Indian astronauts who are already training in Russia uh, uh, to the low earth orbit and orbit of about uh, 2000 kilometers or less for uh, a period of 5 to 7 days now why is this important if if we happen to if this if this food happens to be uh, accepted and if it works out successfully then you see the amount of uh, imports uh, which will cut down or the technology which have been borrowing from other countries that will go down and go on to the atmanirbhar bharat the Lockheed Martin successfully test fired the uh, Morpheus counter unmanned aerial system. Basically, the Morpheus uh, stands for the Mobile Radio Frequency Integrated Unmanned Aircraft System Suppressors. Uh, this is uh, uh, in the picture. If you see, there is a aircraft uh, which is flying, probably a helicopter in a black spec that is uh, carrying this equipment called as Morpheus and uh, the unknown aerial vehicle is which is represented by a, a white um, uh, cloud is uh, is shown as you can see many a times the problem with shooting down a drone or a unmanned aerial vehicle is that first of all the um, rcs of this objects are very uh, less therefore the radars can't catch it number secondly the speeds of these drones are very slow so it is unlikely that any high speed uh, high flying uh, aircrafts can pick it up even if it is picking up the engagement will be difficult so drones can be uh, can be hit possibly only by the uh, helicopters which are ideally suited but even then helicopters now shooting physical hard kill is is always difficult so with such equipment fitted onto the he helicopter uh, a quick reaction is possible especially where the area is under threat so it is uh, something like this has come up so this is a new development in the uh, science and military technology uh, rafale advanced defense systems have unveiled a new variant of the spice 250 air to surface munition that is uh, integrated with turbojet engines that extends the flight range to 150 kilometers and uh, rafale has in unveiled this new version today at the aero india show 2021 the SPICE is the combat uh, proven missile system in the operation service with large customers including Indian Air Force and if you recollect uh, SPICE 2000 was used during the 2019 Balakot strikes. So this, this will be uh, a, a much uh, shorter and uh, shorter variant of that but uh, a successful one I must say. Uh, well uh, that's, that's all uh, friends for uh, this uh, quick update, uh, stay tuned. 
uh, I again reiterate that my videos are in a portrait mode. These are more suitable for your mobile phones and not onto your laptops. And um, uh, I request, uh, I request if you if you think that you have learned something new or you've got some new information, please press that like button. Uh, I'm not getting anything uh, by that like button, but yes. Uh, it's an encouragement for me uh, to bring in more such uh, information and also when you press that like button it is visible to more people and uh, the word will spread around. Hope to see some likes on this video. Thank you so much. Take care.